and stay parity. And in this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can use a video capture card to create a second screen so you can use PowerPoint's presenter view. So what's a video capture card? Well, it's not actually a card. This is what it looks like. And it's a device that allows you to have an input from your own laptop. So this end of the device here, this is the input side, and you see that has a regular HDMI connection. So we're gonna take an HDMI cable from the video output of our laptop and plug it into here. This is the input of the card. And this end is just a regular USB that plugs into your computer and it gets recognized as a camera in your computer. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up to the computer and then I'm gonna show you how in the computer we set it up so that it becomes a second screen that presenter view can use. So let's go hook it up to the computer. So we're at the computer and my computer does not have an HDMI port on it natively, it just has a mini display port. So you notice I've got my adapter here that goes from the mini display port out and then it has an HDMI output there. So that's gonna make my video out of my computer and I'm going to connect it to the video in on the adapter. So the first thing I'm going to do though is plug the adapter into the USB port on my laptop. Okay, got that plugged in. So now I'm gonna take a regular just HDMI cable and connect it from the video out, which is on my case, the adapter, to the video in on the video capture card. And this end will plug into the capture card. There. Now, the first time you do the connections, when you plug that video capture card into your computer, it's likely gonna tell you that it's recognized a new device. It'll set it up, install the driver. And now what we've done is we've got a video output through that adapter and the HDMI cable to a video input into the same computer. So now let's look at what do we do on the computer to make this work for presenter view. On my laptop, you can see that my computer now thinks there are two displays. So I've gone into the Windows settings into the display section, and you'll notice one and two. So it, it thinks that it has two displays, which is great. That's exactly what we want. But as we scroll down here, you'll notice it says duplicate these displays. So the first thing we need to do is to extend the displays instead of duplicating them, because that allows presenter view to have the slides on one screen and your speaking notes in presenter view on the other screen. So I'm gonna use this drop down and say, extend these displays. And it'll always ask me, do you wanna keep the changes? Yes, I'm gonna keep the changes. And now when I go and look, I have two separate displays. So display one is my laptop screen, which we expect, and display two, I'll click on that. That is the video capture card. And when I scroll down, you'll notice I have different display resolution options here. It's recommending 1280 by 720, and that's all you really need. Yes, you could go higher than that, and you notice it does offer higher options up to 1920 by 1080 for this card, but you don't need that. Now, it depends on what card you've bought, depends on what resolutions you'll have. I don't think you need a high-end card. The high-end cards are used for gaming, and they have very, very high resolution, very, very high frame rates for that purpose but you don't need it for this particular application. Just 1280 by 720 is perfectly fine. So we're gonna leave the resolution, but I didn't want you to see that that is an option that you can think about and consider. So we've got the, the display now set up. I can just minimize uh, the settings here. And the question is, how do we know that we have two screens? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start up a PowerPoint presentation that is blank. So I've just got a blank slide here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove it to you by using a print screen. Now to print screen, all you need to do is just press the print screen key on your keyboard. Now often it's going to be short form, maybe it's PRTSCR or PRTSCRN, something like that. So I'm gonna press that print screen key on my keyboard. And what it did is it took a screen capture of all of the screens and put it to the clipboard. So now on my slide here, I'm just gonna press Control V to paste, and you will notice that it shows me the two screens. So I'm gonna go into slideshow mode so you can see this larger, and you'll see that what it's showing is on the left-hand side here, that's my 
laptop screen. And then on the right hand side, this is the extended monitor that monitor we're creating using this video capture card. You'll notice it is smaller because again, my primary laptop is 1920 by 1080. The extension is 1280 by 720. So that's perfectly fine. It's gonna be high resolution for our audience when we share it in our virtual meeting. So that just proves we have the two monitors. So now we will uh, open up a PowerPoint presentation that is set up to use presenter view and set it up so that it displays the slides on that second monitor. So I've now opened my PowerPoint presentation for presenter view. And to set up presenter view, I'm gonna to go to the slideshow ribbon. I'm going to select that I do want to use presenter view. So I check that checkbox. And then in the monitor dropdown list, I need to tell PowerPoint, where do I want the slideshow to be displayed? You'll notice the primary monitor, which is the monitor on the laptop. And then we have monitor two. And the name will depend, it, it kind of depends on who the manufacturer is, what the chipset is, but it'll, it'll give you a monitor too. So I'm gonna say, that's where I want the slideshow to appear. So now I am told that I wanna use presenter view and I want the slides to appear on that second monitor. And to show how this is done, uh, we're just gonna go into regular presenter view here start from the slideshow and you'll notice I have presenter view on my screen that's what you're seeing and I'm going to uh, get out of full screen mode here I'm going to reduce this down so that I have my presenter view I have the editing view of that same presentation in the background and then over on my my right hand side here that's where the other monitor is that's where Windows thinks it is and that's where the slides are being displayed so when we have the current slide here that's where the slides are being displayed this is exactly what you want. Now what you wanna do is you want to start up your uh, virtual meeting platform if you haven't started it already. And in the meeting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna share that second screen that has the slides on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use a PowerPoint presenter view here so you can see we can build it using presenter view. And now what I'll do is I'll go and start up a virtual meeting and show you how we share that second screen in the virtual meeting. So I started my Zoom meeting here and it works the same if you're using Teams or WebEx or Google Meet, anything like that. In my Zoom meeting, I'm gonna go share. So I go to the sharing dialogue and you'll notice that I have two screens here. So screen one is where I have my presenter view, I have my Zoom meeting going, you see my video there. And screen two, you'll notice, is where the slides are. And this is exactly what I want to share with the audience. So all they're going to see is this second screen with the slides, nice high resolution. So I'll select screen two and say share. And so now what Zoom has done is shared that second screen where my slides are. And now I can simply proceed through presenter view the way I normally would. So I'll go to presenter view and I can talk about my next point and my next point, And then I go to my next slide. And this is regular presenter view. It has all the features of presenter view. So when I want to add animation, and then I want to use, let's say, a morph transition, it's all working within presenter view. I have all the advanced features in presenter view available to me. All the audience is seeing are my slides on that second screen, the virtual second screen. It's not physically there, but it's virtually there. You go through your presentation and just deliver it the way you normally would using presenter view, seeing your notes when you have notes, and using all the features. When you're done, you just simply stop sharing and close your meeting like you normally would. So I would go to my Zoom controls and say, stop sharing. Now I'm back to my regular video in Zoom. And then of course you would end your slideshow and, and go on with, with the rest of your day. So that's how you can use a video capture card to create a second display within one laptop that only has one screen, but it thinks it has two screens. You put your slideshow on that second screen and share that second screen in your virtual meeting so that you can have full presenter view features, but only having one physical screen on your laptop. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.